car tour. Ranch only. The hotel we're staying in. <laughs> Before I start this video, I want to give y'all a chance to earn some money and save some money, okay? This video is sponsored by Cooper, and Cooper is an amazing website that lets you earn some money and save some money when you're shopping. So how it works is you download it, and you can download it on Chrome and Safari, whatever one works for you. And when you download it, you can easily go on all of your websites that you usually shop on. Shein, Ulta, Sephora, just a whole bunch of websites that you usually shop for regular stuff, for clothes, makeup, beauty, anything really and I'm pretty sure Cooper will have coupon store available and they'll also show you the best deal they have available as well so all you have to do is go on the website that you want to buy stuff from add the stuff to your cart right now I'm wearing the NYX butter gloss and y'all know I love Ulta but you know Ulta can be a little bit pricey sometimes so what I did was I went to Ulta and I ordered me some brand new NYX butter gloss and all the shades that I usually use on the regular or whatever and I added them all to my cart and then all I had to do was see the available coupons on Cooper and right then and there I was it was a copy and paste it and I saved me three dollars and fifty cents and I had an opportunity to earn money back so if you guys want to save your coins and even get a chance to earn some coins back on your favorite websites that you shop on make sure y'all check out Cooper okay cuz I don't know about you but I like to get to the bag and save the bag at the same time so yeah make sure y'all check out Cooper the information on it is gonna be in the description box down below and let's get back to the video Channel. If you guys are new, make sure y'all subscribe because if you don't want to see more of me now, you're gonna want to see more of me later. I promise I'm a date, and if you don't believe me, keep watching and you'll see. So if you guys read the title, you guys are probably like, What? Yes, girl, new car, Atlanta. Yes, no, but yeah, I am getting a new car. As you guys seen, I just freshened up and pampered up. It is currently 11:07. I'm gonna be driving to Atlanta at about one-ish. Mama's gonna come and we're both gonna drive to Atlanta together. By the way, if y'all hear any barking or whining, that is my foster dog. I do have a foster dog because my mom had brought me this rescue dog and I tell her I didn't want to take care of it because I just moved in and I'm not ready to be taking care of no dog right now but my mom does not listen to me so she brought the dog anyway and I have grown to get attached to it and love it her name is Luna she's a terrier and when you guys see her you guys probably like girl because yes right now she does look busted all her hair is shaved off but she does come from an abusive background so she is like a tad bit aggressive sometimes she has to come with me to Atlanta because like I said she comes from an abusive background and I don't want to leave her here alone because I know she has anxiety. I'm basically going to give her a home for now because I don't want her to just get into the hands of anybody wrong and then she gets treated badly. Even though I've grown to love her, I still think she belongs with like a family of multiple people you know what I'm saying? That can like give her all the attention all the time. But we're not talking about that. Y'all are going to see Luna later. Like I said, don't judge her for how she looks because her fur is shaved off. But anyways, so yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. My hair looks a mess and I actually have no hair ties. Like I have zero hair ties. So how am I going to do my hair you may ask i have no idea but we're gonna try to figure out something by the way i got this set from amazon and it's so freaking cute 
and the quality is so nice. It's a cute little skim dupe or whatever, if you want to call it that. I don't know, but all I know is that it's really nice and it's really comfortable. And I feel like it looks nice because you can still be casual and comfortable but still look cute at the same time. Which is clothes that I need because I never really do the most when I'm out in public or running errands or anything like that. So I need clothes that are comfortable but are still cute. Like I look still put together when I go outside because I don't need y'all recognizing me at Walmart and I have a pajama shirt on, sweatpants, and Crocs. That happens every time I look like that and it's really embarrassing. And I don't like it So I'm trying to get myself more put together in public When I least expect it Because that's when people actually come up to me And that is embarrassing And I know y'all be ashamed of me going outside like that But I'm sorry I just caught 11-11 So the car that I'm getting is one of my dream cars And I found one of the ones that I wanted But it's in Atlanta, Georgia So y'all not live in Florida But I am gonna travel to go get it Because Georgia is about 6-7 hours away My mom was like if you want to we'll take that drive So that's why I love my mom Because she's a ride or die We're gonna take turns driving or whatever And we're gonna be heading to ATL ATL ho but yeah, so I did book a hotel because basically we're going to be leaving around 1 in the morning, getting there around 7, 7.30ish at the dealership. I'm gonna get my car, you know what I'm saying? God willingly, everything goes out well. And I'm gonna be staying there Saturday night and then we're gonna leave Sunday. So I'm going to be in Atlanta this weekend and it's my first time really going to Atlanta. I've driven down from Florida to New York plenty of times with my family and we have to pass through Georgia driving, but like I don't actually stop and stay there. So I've never stayed in Georgia. So it's my first time going and I'm really excited because even though I'm just going more on like business terms because I'm just gonna get my car. It's still exciting because I just been here. This is what my hair looks like, y'all. Who are you guys? I literally have no hair ties at all. But anyways, so let's get into why I need a new car because y'all probably like, girl, what happened to your car? So if you guys did not know, your girl was driving a 2005 red Honda Civic, and that was my first car that I purchased on myself. And that car, I appreciate that car because it always took me from where I needed to go and back. And I never was ashamed or embarrassed to have an older hoopty because it's your first car. And if you're gonna be paying for the maintenance and everything like that yourself and not your parents, then you have to learn the responsibility of having a car itself first so yeah you have to learn the responsibility of having a car first before you just buy one from the dealership on top of that you need credit and all that stuff so getting a cash car as a first purchase when you're young is a good option to me so it was working for me but my car was a different story so hondas are good cars i sold my car about two weeks ago to a man who was going to give it to his son and he fixed up cars so he was going to fix up the car and give it to his son for his son's first car himself so yeah i just sold my car and i had to sell my car because i can say like a week week after I moved to my apartment my car overheated and I have a close family friend who's a mechanic so I could have chosen to just have him fix my car and get me a new head gasket but I just chose to just say my goodbyes to this car because y'all this car is going to do so much y'all don't even know the half of it so yeah I just decided to just say my goodbyes say my final words to that car and her name was Dirty Diana because she did me dirty all the time you know what I'm saying I really felt unsafe in that car because I never expected this stuff that happened to it to happen to me like when I tell you guys like a few months ago i literally ended up in a ditch and then before that one time when i had just drove my car home my brakes just stopped working and i was at an intersection and my car kept going at a red light and i literally could have just lost my life right there but thanks to god you know i'm still here that car has put me through a lot of stuff and i'm just so happy to finally just get you know rid of it the interior of the car was messing up my headliner was already hanging and my nephew literally would just pull my headliner down so my headliner looked so bad bad in the inside my speaker stopped working so towards the end of me using my car i couldn't even play music anymore can y'all imagine that like i was saying don't ever be embarrassed of driving an older car or getting a cash car because listen my car took me from where i needed to go and back my car took me to school my car took me to wherever i need to go errands my car even took me to move here so it happened that it just stopped working when i moved in and you know what i feel like that was god's timing because it's never your plan it's always his plan and i feel like he was like girl we need a new car yeah my goal was basically to just have a car that is just reliable now when i had moved into my apartment and i didn't know when i was gonna do it but i guess i have to do it now so i'm getting my audi or whatever i hope that everything goes well at that dealership but if not i'm still gonna give me an audi and i don't care where i have to go so if it doesn't go well then i guess y'all just see that part of me going to that dealership but i'm gonna still keep going and i'm still gonna go and i'm gonna get my audi no matter what okay so yeah i was supposed to be doing my hair while i was talking all that stuff but um i don't have 
hair tie for my hair at all. I have a hat, but like, how am I gonna get my hair tamed in a hat? You know what I'm saying? I found a hair tie and I found my glasses conveniently because I knew I packed them when I moved, but I don't know where I put them in, so I found them, which is really good because my mom was like, you better have your glasses because me and her are gonna take turns to drive. And I found them, so we're back in action. Yeah, so I found a hair tie and it's only one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that because what am I gonna do with one hair tie? Like, I think I'm gonna do a bun at the top because that'll be easier. And I don't know where my earrings are at. I'm all over the place. My mom is probably sleeping right now because she told me that she was gonna take like, a little power nap. She did go to work today and she was working all week. So it's not like she was off and she got to sleep all day and then she's gonna drive. Like, no, she's doing this after she gets off work. That's what I'm saying. Like, mom is really super woman and she's really the goal. Let's see what I can make shake with this hair, honey. I honestly don't know. What I do know is I need some earrings. And also, I have not packed for Atlanta at all yet because I had just booked the hotel today. And it wasn't a last minute thing. I just have been in contact with the person from the Audi dealership all week. And he was telling me that he'll let me know Friday evening if the car is sold. So if not, I can come Saturday morning. So I was waiting on him to tell me that the car was not sold. And before the dealership closed today, he called me and he told me the car is still available. I'll see you tomorrow. And I was like, I'll be there. So then I booked the hotel and now we're here. So yeah, I still have to pack. Ooh, my arm hurts. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I'm sucking in my stomach, but all I'm doing is brushing my hair. Jeez. And I actually hate buns like this on myself. Should I just put a hat on? Nah. Should I put a hat on? Okay, I'm gonna put a hat on, girl. Look at my brush. All right, so I chose to go with the hat because I feel like the hat is just road trip ready. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do my sideburns though. And of course, I can't find my edge control. That's cute. All right, y'all, so I found my earrings. I'm over here acting like I don't have to pack, girl. You guys, I didn't eat nothing all day. Hey, cute, 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 cute. Betty, Betty, cute, I like it. Should I put the studs on or should I just put these on? Yeah, my second hole is definitely closed. Should I try to pop it back in? I'm scared. It's not getting any deeper. Hmm. Cause wouldn't that be so cute, but it's not coming in. <gasps> Y'all, I got it, stop playing with me. I got it, I don't know how to close the earring though. I got my earring to go in the hole, but I cannot figure out how to clasp it for the life of me, I could not. I'm gonna put on my shoes now. Now we get into packing mode. I'm really there to get my car, so I don't wanna do too much, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna pack my essentials, so. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up going somewhere to eat Saturday night, cause we're gonna stay in the hotel. So if we do go out anywhere to eat, I'm gonna just bring my brown dress from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm gonna bring my Gucci sandals to go with the brown dress. I honestly don't wear these sandals a lot, and I wanted these sandals for a long time. And I don't even think that I wanna bring that dress to my slides because it takes up too much space in my bag. Okay, so instead of the brown dress, I'm just gonna bring this black backless dress and then my cute little track suit. So I wear that when we drive back to Florida. My little travel spray. I'm gonna wear a little toe bag today because it matches the slides. I'm just gonna put my important stuff in here. My wallet, my camera stuff. I'm gonna bring this body spray too only because it smells so good. It is called the Daisy Fuentes Peach Blush. My mom has a whole bunch of masks in her car, so don't worry, we're gonna be masked up. My bag for the weekend is packed, and this is my bag for today. So yeah, that is it. Mommy! Mommy! Oh! Okay, well now I have to clean that. Yeah, I'm stopping by Wawa's. Do you want anything? Um, you know how they have the sandwiches and the mac and cheese combos? All I want on there is mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and spinach. Oh, baby, love you, bye. Love you too, bye. Girl, your food spill, girl. Say hi. Oh. That's not how you say hi. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go. Come on. 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 Come but yeah, she does well in a car. My mom had brought her down from Miami, so she was already in the car for like four hours. So she knows how to behave in a car. I think she's done using the bathroom, but I'm just letting her walk around because she's gonna be in a car for some hours. And of course I'm gonna stop and let her go outside. We're gonna go back inside now.
All right, y'all, so we're back in the house. My mom is on her way. She went to go stop at Wawa to get some food, and Muna is eating right now. She's eating the food that fell in her cage. I'm glad she's doing that. So obviously, before we go in the car, I'm gonna walk her again because she's eating right now, so she's gonna probably have to do number two. Right now, until my mom comes, I'm just gonna play some music and try to clean the house as best as I can because I don't wanna come back home to a mess. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to cleaning, and I'm gonna see you guys my mom is here. My mother is here. Why you guys say ATL not ready for us? ATL not ready for us. Why you got my keys, right? The keys are on the door right now. I gotta grab my coffee. Leave that kitchen light on. And we're off. I was gonna drive first, but I guess she wants to drive first because she don't go to sleep. My mother brought me Wawa. Did you get fork? You got your keys? They not at the door? I got them. I got spoon. I'm sorry, no fork. Okay, this is my sandwich? Yeah. Well, that's the one you want, right? Or do Junior? Yeah, so what did you get? A panini. You can taste it if you want. You can have some. I like the paninis. It's just that I eat them in 2.2 2 seconds. Yeah. So. The strawberries and on the middle. I don't care what nobody said. Wild well, mac and cheese is so good. Um, Not better than um, Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like Chick fil A mac and cheese. I like Chick fil A mac and cheese. Me too. I be saving more than I be spending. That's what I be on. Mom, I'm going to be like this 100 bottles of milk on the wall, 100 bottles of milk. Take one down, that's it around. Don't get any drinks. Are you driving? Are you driving? Well, we finna get some coffee first in the bathroom. Yeah. We at this gas station called Love's. 
I've never seen that before. Why you got a mask? Oh, you got it. Ooh, y'all finna get on this road. Girl. Oh, girl, it's cold. Yep, branch only. All right, y'all. It's time for a bad bitch to be behind the wheel. But as we all know, a true bad bitch got bad vision so we're gonna be safe okay and put these glasses on because that needs to happen i'm gonna put my camera battery to charge all right y'all all the war bad mobile okay we got three hours and 51 minutes to rock out sit back relax and enjoy pay attention to the road girl i'll start spinning these seeds at you while you're girl. driving Speed all right angel numbers angel. all right all right y'all All right, y'all, I'm here. And yes, I was a road warrior. I drove four hours, she drove three. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the dealership. We made it at nine o'clock, but that's only because make three stops. we had to make three stops. We're gonna go see the vibes or whatever. The man who I was talking to should already be here because he said he gets in here at like 7.30 and it's nine o'clock. I'm tired and I feel like my butt is decreasing volume because thank God you made it safe. Check in for the hotel is at three. Now look at my hair. Right now I'm, I'm a businesswoman, so right now I'm not supposed to be cute. I'm handling business. Alrighty. Mm. So now she's getting ready to test drive. She doesn't know I'm filming, so oh, I don't know how I'm pointing this camera, if I'm pointing it right or not. She can always edit me. Now there's an app that you can use. You'll put on your phone. And with the app, you'll be able to start your vehicle remotely. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice now if you have an S in front of you. Uh -huh. Okay, what that S means is that you're in sport mode. So okay. what happened is when you shift this vehicle, you shift it twice. Oh, okay. So if I shift twice, it's going to put me in sport. Sport okay. is going to give you even quicker acceleration. It will burn more fuel. Right. So this stretch of road is generally very secluded. This will give you an opportunity to accelerate if you like to. All right, y'all, so the dealer is doing the paperwork, so while he's doing that, I'm about to go get some chicken that he recommended from Gus's Famous Fried Chicken. Probably just get some fried chicken and some mac and cheese. It's on 10.57 and they open at 11. But yeah, I test drove my car and it's so smooth and there's a whole bunch of different features that I'm not even used to look because <laughs> I was driving my little hoopty, so I'm like looking at all these buttons, I'm like, what is this? What is this, honey? I used to have roll-up windows for coming a long way, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Plates include baked beans, law, and white bread, breast and wing, two breasts and wing, three-piece wing, leg and thigh, two thighs and leg, three tenders, four tenders, and half a chicken. I got lip gloss on my mask. Come on, put it on. Two-piece dark with mac and cheese and baked beans. If I had ranch, it's like I got mac and cheese and baked beans. This is my breakfast, by the way. The baked beans are good. I don't know how to ask for a ranch cup. I never don't eat chicken without ranch. Hey y'all, it's future me. After I finished eating the Gus's fried chicken, by the way, the chicken was bomb. It was amazing, but I feel like the mac and cheese was a little bit irregular. I feel like there's probably better mac and cheese somewhere else in Atlanta, but the chicken and the baked beans, that was it for me, okay? So after I finished eating, I went back and I was talking to the financing man and you know, we were talking numbers and stuff like that. And you know, you have to get approved for the car, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, your girl got approved. So then I went into signing for my car and rolled a clip. One, two, three, four. Y'all look at my car. Say hi, if y'all want an Audi in Atlanta, y'all know where to go. Go see Arthur. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they put a bow on my car because I'm so extra and I appreciate it so much. Extra special. Extra special, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. 
How do I lower this volume? <laughs> That's how you know I'm so used to driving a hoopy. Oh, all right, y'all. So I'm currently in my car. Yeah, I'm so happy. Like, it don't feel real yet. It really don't. It don't feel real. But I am in my car and I am so happy. Like, I just don't have any other words to describe myself. Like, how I feel. All I am is happy right now. Details about my car. This is a 2020 Audi A4 Premium. I'm going to give you guys a car tour when I actually park my car. Right now, I'm actually getting ready to check into this hotel. The hotel we're staying in is the Westin. We're going and we're going to be checking in the hotel and stuff like that. I'm going to give you a car tour, like I said, when I park. But I feel so, like, weird. Like, y'all, I ain't move up because Everybody wants me to move up, so I will. But yeah, I feel very happy. I feel very blessed. I manifested this, okay? I really did. Shout out to the people at Audi Atlanta because they put a boat on for me and they didn't have to do that, but thanks guys. I can't believe it. I'm in my car. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go in and park for the hotel and I'm gonna see you guys when I'm actually parked so I can show you guys my car tour and we can get into the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? This is the outside of the car, my little car tour. I love the body of it. The controls. You can actually set, anybody who sits in the driver's seat, they can have their own personal settings. So every time they come in, that specific person can have their own type of style of how the seat is laying. So I think that's pretty cool. The logo, when you open the door, is right here. The headlights, I have them on auto. The system right here. The steering wheel, I love the steering wheel. The volume controls, Bluetooth controls. The seat. I have my mats in the trunk. Here's the steering wheel. My gears. This right here is if the passenger wants to turn on the volume, they don't have to come and touch all of this right here. They could just turn it up or down by themselves or switch the buttons by themselves they don't have to go be all up in my space there's a compartment right here cup holders that the little led lights in them the start and stop button is actually right here for charging this right here there's a usb port right here this is to select what mode the car drives in this is so the car does not shut off when you're at a red light. So if you don't like that setting, you can turn it off. This is the fan for the AC. So if you want the AC higher, you put it like this, lower, like this. The control for the AC and you can sync them. The dash has Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, Bluetooth, USB, and it is touchscreen. And then there is my glove box that has all my information that you don't need to see. My passenger seat. And then the locks right there. Then up here, the settings to open up the moon roof. This is for the lights right here. And then this is the moon roof. And then you could just do as you please. The mirrors. And then the back seat. The controls. I love the all black, y'all. And then whoever sits in the back, if the car was on, this light would be on. But whoever sits in the back, they can control the AC themselves and I can control it from up here as well. And they also have a plug for their phone. And then this comes down. The lights on both sides work. There's storage space right here on both sides. And then the bag with all my other stuff that I need for my car. And that is my car tour. So we're actually gonna check into the hotel. You see her, you see her.
All right, y'all, so I'm checked into the hotel and I'm about to get in the shower because I've been up since 1 a.m. and it's 5.30 p.m. So I'm gonna get in the shower and I just realized that I did not bring any brush or nothing for my hair. So I don't know what I'm gonna do to it because I did not bring anything for it. I might just let it loose and put some conditioner in it, some hotel conditioner, see what that does. It's really matter to me because tomorrow I'm not gonna get cute or nothing. I'm gonna have to drive back, but yeah, I'm gonna get in the shower. I am exhausted, y'all. I'm gonna get in the shower and then when I get ready to go to eat, then I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys, so somehow I managed to detangle my hair with this little baby comb and I'm all moisturized and showered and refreshed and ready to go to dinner and we're gonna go there and try it out. And then my night will be ended because I have to drive back seven hours again back home tomorrow, so. I feel so fresh after being in a car for hours and I still didn't get any sleep, but that's okay because tonight I'm gonna sleep so good like a baby, okay? So let's go. All right, y'all, so we're here at Papa Duke's. It is crowded. You guys, I had so much freaking anxiety trying to park my car because I've never actually had to care about how car fits or whatever. And my car is way bigger than my other little Honda. Good morning, it's check out time. And I'm about to drive seven hours back to Florida after I get coffee. Yeah, I didn't vlog after I came back to the hotel. That was when I finally went to sleep after not going to sleep for like a day and a half, so. All right, y'all, yeah, I'm in my car. And yesterday, I didn't know how to put the cup holders in the back, so I didn't get to show you guys that. But when you pull that down, there is cup holders that appear. I don't know how to do this, why I didn't show you guys because I didn't know how to do it. We are in the car. I'm going to be following my mom. I have my GPS on, of course, but I'm just going to be following her as well. Yeah. But first, we're going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to start at Dunkin' first. Mom, I don't see a closed Dunkin'. Northeast. Trying to find the closest Dunkin'. And I couldn't set up CarPlay yet because I have to go to my Audi in Florida for me to have the app. Um, on my phone and for me to have the car play set up to my phone and the tube so that's why I have the USB on. I also don't have anything for my windshield to film so I'm wondering why I cannot put it on there it's because of that and my screen blocks the camera from showing if I dip it on my dash so. Alright y'all these are my mom's sunglasses <laughs> these are her sunglasses so before y'all be like girl these are my mom's but I got y'all like leaning on my little thing I have to get a thing for my car to go on my camera so the days of me doing this are over but I can finally have a car that I can put a tripod on so I'm so happy that soon you guys will get more car videos but yeah ignore these big behind sunglasses um I also look a mess so that's why I have them on but really I'm driving about 270 miles right now so I have a long way to go traffic in Atlanta backed us up like an hour and a half longer of a way to get home but I should be home by 8. I know I have to go to Walmart because I have to deep clean my house like there's no way I'm gonna go home and go to sleep tonight without deep cleaning. I have like 200 miles to go before I'm in my area and then I have still a few miles to go. The place I went to eat yesterday that place was packed so I'm pretty sure it's a Atlanta favorite because everybody was out there and it was drip or drown last night. Really we just came to get my car so hopefully I'll be coming back soon to ATL to actually go over there and you know still do some work but actually experienced it because I guess I didn't experience it but I did miss being in Florida y'all it's so funny because in my old car before my speakers blow they were already messed up so like the bass sounded like ah. 
So like I would have to pick certain songs that didn't have a strong bass in them. Girl, it was just a lot. Like I could not play no gunna song. I could not play no song that has like a bass or like any type of beat because my car would like enhance by that and make it sound like it's spinning it out in a dishwasher. So that was that. So now I actually could do it. So now I can actually play music and listen to them without having to worry about what's gonna happen with my beat. Oh my god, yeah, I had Taco Bell before we went to our last stop and my stomach is not feeling it. All I got was a freaking chicken quesadilla. Like, why my stomach is feeling like this? My stomach got about 200 miles to stop bubbling. <laughs> all we gotta do is put some pick and make them sit. I'm playing songs I haven't heard in so long. <laughs> but I played a whole bunch of R&B on my way coming with my mom. So, yeah, I'm just playing a whole bunch of songs. Yeah, I used to listen to this on the bus to school every morning, this whole album. <laughs> okay, mind you, I don't know what I was talking about, so I was just singing it. Y'all, I'm back in Florida. I said a sign that says, Florida, welcome to you. So now I got 200 miles to go home, but I'm back in Florida. He's ass on a field trip. I hope you're ready for what I'm Okay, it's past me, future me, past me, future me. I did not film my outro, but I'm here, okay? I'm here, and I'm gonna say bye to y'all the right, proper way, okay? Because y'all deserve it. All right, so I've been really busy. I feel like I'm always busy, but y'all, I promise you, I'll be making moves, and the reason why y'all haven't seen me in so long is because I was making this move. I always told you guys that, like, if you don't see me for a long time, I'm either taking a mental break, which I'll usually let you know, or I'm doing something that's bigger, that there's a reason why I'm waiting to show you guys you know because i'm very private i like to keep stuff private until it's time and it happens for real for real so you're yeah, like when you don't see me for a while just chill because i'm coming back with a banger every time even if i take a break i'm always gonna come back with a banger so yeah relax okay but i feel very blessed and excited that i have my car or whatever i am not a really materialistic person so i don't hold you know that as me thinking like higher myself or anything like that i just feel blessed about it and trust me i worked very hard to get to where i am today and anybody who supports me i appreciate i appreciate you guys to the fullest so i appreciate all the love and support really i feel very blessed and i pray and i manifest it and i know that whenever i take a fall or whenever things go downhill i know it will always go up 10 times more and i feel like y'all should believe that too like whatever life you want to live or however you want to live in general if you want to be happy you know you're not happy just say that you're gonna be happy like you need to manifest that and i was 15 16 and i knew the life that i wanted to have and i was just doing the same thing every day not doing nothing not making no money i was praying about what i wanted and i know 15 16 year old me will be so proud of myself and sometimes i get stuck to where i always want more for myself and i don't take time to really sit back and be proud of myself because i'm always like okay what's next I'm always just looking for the next and what's better for myself. So take time to really appreciate yourself and what you've been doing. Cause I know, I know 15, 16 year old mama will be so proud of me right now. And if you're in a hard place or a hard situation, it's not gonna be like that forever if you don't believe it will, okay? So make sure y'all keep looking at the light at the end of the tunnel because it's there, baby. I promise, I promise. And I feel like I'm always giving y'all a little prayer speech at the end of my videos, but I'm keeping it real. Cause I don't want y'all to think that like you see everybody on social 
social media doing this and doing that and you're not there yet i don't want nobody to ever feel down on themselves because half of these people be lying about what they doing but that's a different topic <laughs> that's a different topic but i just you know don't compare yourself to nobody and keep doing you keep your head on your shoulders keep your head strong and high i love y'all so much thank y'all for supporting me on all my journeys and all my endeavors that i'm going through in life i really appreciate it and make sure y'all follow me on instagram i'm ryakaylin and i will see you guys in my next video bye y'all